G'day and welcome to Frybat, Friday Beers and Tools. This week we're trialling a new Little Creatures, well I don't know whether it's new, new to me, Little Creatures uh, Brewing uh, Beer. This is Dog Days, this is their Session Ale. It is another one of those shorty cans. I'm sure they do that just so that I spend what I think is normal amount of money for a smaller than average can. Anyway, Dog Days was a hophead favourite when it was released as a summer seasonal. The message from our fans was loud and clear. You wanted this beer year round. Quite frankly, we couldn't get enough of it either. So we've listened and brought Dog Days back for good. A fine beer, crisp, clean, refreshing and hoppy. Pours a straw yellow colour with rocky white head and with tropical hop aromas wafting thickly out of the glass. The peachy, juicy fruit hop flavours marry nicely with the wheat malt. In terms of bitterness, it's firm, but not so intense that it overwhelms the light malt character. Not a big fan of big bitter beers, but uh, let's see how little creatures have done with this one. Happy Friday. Yeah, that's nice. It is, um, it is uh, reasonably hoppy, but not excessively so. Uh, you can definitely taste the the rolled oats sort of multi flavour to it. Peach, yep, yeah, it tastes the peachy fruit. That's a nice session ale. Little Creatures never fails to disappoint. Uh, I really like Little Creatures Brewing. Um, they can seem to do no wrong. Very nice beer. Uh, it is a 4.4% summer beer or session ale and uh, a very nice beer. Out of my spanner scale, that's a four and a half out of five. Very nice. Radio. This week we have two tools for you. Uh, both are Amazon tools and my first one is uh, an old favourite, well actually a version of an old favourite, uh, Erwin who is the original uh, designers of the Vice Grip uh, and they are the licensed ones to own the name Vice Grip, uh, have these um, 12 inch large jaw um, locking pliers. Uh, just about everyone has a set of the traditional um, Irwin type vice grips and I'll put a photo up here and uh, um, but these ones actually this was uh, one of the um, one of the channels the other channels that I watch which is uh, Musty One um, he has a number of tools that he recommends everyone should have in their kit and this was one of the ones that Musty One recommended so when I found them on uh, Amazon for $27.55, which is very reasonable for Irwin original vice scripts. I got a set. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to buy your own. Uh, the best things about these is being able to grip large objects uh, with normal vice scripts, very small head. Uh, they do the job very well on, on small items when you're trying to uh, uh, clamp onto them. Uh, this has these large um, large opening jaws and uh, and it has the standard trigger release that um, Vice Grip is known so well and the variable uh, adjustment for tightening them down on different sizes. The uh, As I mentioned the, these are currently $27.55 delivered uh, they do come from uh, the US uh, Amazon in Australia but Amazon US uh, so therefore you need to be an Amazon Prime member to get them for free delivery uh, if you spend over $49. So, value for money at $27.55, A1, 
uh, that's a five out of five for value for me. Um, we pay considerably more than that for Vice Grip branded tools in Australia at our hardware shops, uh, so that's a good price. Um, for functionality, well, if it's anything like my other multiple sets of other um, Irwin Vice Grips, one a pair of which I also inherited from my uh, my dear father. Um, uh, these are going to be an extremely handy addition, especially with the difference in these jaws. So for functionality, it's five out of five beers for me as well. Second tool this week is another Amazon uh, tool, or set of tools I guess you'd say. This is a uh, T-handle hex set, and uh, these I purchased from Amazon also from no, these were Amazon Australia, and these currently uh, T-handle hex key set uh, are $23.19 uh, with Prime free delivery. So let's open them up and have a look. Why they put things in plastic bags in boxes which are wrapped in plastic, I will still never understand. Alrighty. First thing to notice is that they do come with a really nice little rack, uh, which is actually made out of steel. Uh, the rack does have mount holes in the bottom of it. You just see them there. And uh, although are not a huge range in size, they do go from uh, 10 mil down to 2 mil. 10 mil. Uh, for the largest one, the handle seems quite nice, although it hasn't been really well finished. Uh, it does have little sharp bits of the plastic moulding on them, which is a bit disappointing, so might need a little bit of a dress up with, uh, with a file just to take those sharp edges off. Right down to the 2mm diameter, and there, there is a um, an imperial version available as well. Obviously in Australia we use metric. Um, we have a lot of things that are imperial as well. Uh, older cars etc. Um, but uh, a lot of what we use is metric so hence why I bought metric. I may get the imperial set at some stage. Uh, the brand is Performance Tool. Um, I dare say they're made in China. Let me just double check that. made in China. Um, didn't know that when I bought it, otherwise I may not have bought it. Might have found a set from uh, Australia, US or Taiwan. Um, anyway, they reckon they are heat treated alloy steel shafts. Um, have a lifetime warranty. Um, and for $23.49, quite good value, especially with a proper metal holder. Value for money, $23.19, that's a 5 out of 5 value for me. Um, for functionality, well, it's a hex tool set. Uh, this is the first T-handle hex tool set that I've bought. Uh, I have traditional Allen keys and I also have some of the uh, ball head uh, Allen keys which are handy for when you can't get fully into uh, vertical position um, but the T-handle allows you to get a lot more purchase on especially something as large as 10 mil. They probably don't place uh, half inch drive or even 3 8 drive uh, hex heads um, for the really really tight ones uh, but they are very handy for machinists, uh, very handy to have on a lathe uh, and that sort of environment. Uh, so for functionality, 5 out of 5 as far as I'm concerned, 5 beers out of 5. Anyway, that's it for this week's Frybat. Nice quick one, a couple of new tools, and uh, as I said, both tools are available down in the description for purchase. Uh, so if you're interested in those, go down and uh, click on the link. 
Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like, share and subscribe as per usual. And uh, happy Friday.